So the plan was to go out past 12 Mile Peg at Granite Falls and uh, quickly made a list and uh, threw some things together, headed out there as soon as I could, couldn't wait. It's great history of this place. A lot of uh, settlers and um, even further back with the natives and some amazing things happening there. I'd love to know more about it. The photos really don't capture the depth of that gorge. It's just amazing. So deep and wonderful, really awe-inspiring. And uh, yeah, so I headed out over the water and off up the creek and into the bush off the trail. It was fantastic. through and she still grows worth the push through the undergrowth And as the sun rises, I set off, attempting to leave no trace. This is a rare little clear patch. Been fighting my way through brush. About to climb up there get back into the thick of it. Aren't they majestic, these boulders? Beautiful. I'd love to know what this is. I'm at about the top of the hill now. I always find bushwalking to be such a nice... Can anyone so tell me if these are native bees or what they it's are? No, it's not a very good photo, sorry. This is all on mute and no service, by the way, intentionally. <laughs> but it's also 
Yeah, it was good for me before this. Before these devices that can fit in your pocket and do more than all the computers that sent me into the Mars. It stops resets my brain. And the only thing left in my mind is the important things. And the cool things that I've forgotten about because I've been too busy with life. Got a fantastic song in my head right now. Might overlay some of it. Then it would be a shame to miss the sound of the breeze. Has a unique sound when you're at the top of the hill. You know you're still on the ridge because you can hear the difference in the sound. below. Just make out the water where I camped the night. Back into the thick. Pretty little flowers these. It's interesting this whole concept of leave no mark. Well, I physically wouldn't get through if I left no mark here. Potentially destroying anything. I'm sure a kangaroo coming through here would break a few tweaks too. But of course we want to leave no rubbish. Now you can tell where you are by the sun. Left, slightly behind. Kind of slight northerly slant for us at the moment because we're getting away from the summer solstice. So it'll be northeast east now and it'll set in the west, south, south? No. North, south, south direction. So, I know the topography. You know, I've got to stay on this ridge and move along. I can tell I'm on the ridge because the trees thin out over that way and they're thin out over that way and the sound of the, the top. And I'm heading in the right direction. I've given up on double checking it at the compass. It takes so long to get it out and pretty much been doing this since I was a kid and usually have uh, pretty much the right direction with the sun and you can't go in a straight line, look at this you know, I pick it up to my things and I'm not even sure where to go now but each time you get boxed in like this you just look around for an animal track and they've generally already cleared a path for you so you just follow that pretty soon you get to another clearing, double check your bearings, just keep pushing on, it really does just bunch up around you. Sometimes I've thought a machete would be great, but then you kind of run into the problem of stabbing yourself if you fall over, and that ain't going to be pretty. Plus, in the past, once upon a time, I tried to hack through some things with a machete. It was fairly sharp, but it wasn't easy. Maybe that's meant for soft growth and not uh, all these things. Oh, it's quite wiry. Push through. my weight breaks. <laughs> Keep going. If you haven't done this, and you're afraid of the bugs and the they should scared of you. And you're coming along making a crap load of noise. 
we're gonna bugger off out of the way. And I'm always surprised at why people think, hey, I can't do that. Yeah, special skills and whatever. Nice. Oh, walked up further than this, I never even carried water. Stupid, I know, but. Men have been living this way for thousands of years. It can't be that hard. Your body knows what to do. Oh, this must be the gully that I saw about halfway along my trek last night. And on the other side of the woods then. So. It gets me to become the little causeway when there's a lot of rain. I think I'll go up to the other side of the ridge where I was. I'll never get back on the same track that I was on, but I'm trying to stay close enough with a few landmarks. Or I think life a bit easier in one way. And who wants to go back the same way? Well, I don't get a chance to come out here every day. I used to uh, do it more often. Now this almost looks like an intentional dam. Or bridge. But I'm sure it's a natural rock formation. There's no way when we go to the effort to put this in place here where the water's not going to run all the time. Alright, I'm going to push on through at a bit faster pace that I can do while I'm talking and videoing. There's no fallen tree around here so that looks like some kind of wombat hole. Good for them, nice little home. When I'm walking, I'm always concerned about breaking the old ankle or the leg. It would really make for a big problem. It's quite embarrassing to have to get a chopper. Get me the chopper. But uh, what I do is, whenever I fall, I just intentionally quickly bend my leg so it doesn't jar or snap on something. I try to transfer my weight onto the other leg. Drop onto your bum. It's a big cushion. <laughs> You'll be right, mate. Keep going. No sign of where I was last night, but through there's the gorge, and pretty sure I can hear the distant sound of the falls. Not a complete fall. I will check on the old GPS as well, just to double check. Old songs come to mind when I'm walking in the bush. First it was, See your Peter, see your Paul, and put me up on the bedroom wall. And now it's, Who do you think you are, collecting your jar of hearts? Yeah, love hearts. It was a nice big old tree. It's ashes to ashes, dust to dust, I guess. Yeah, it's warm, and uh, look at that from growing on the trees and things. Not long ago, I had a bath. But, uh, it's too sweaty for a jumper right now, but it's PPE, isn't it? Probably should really have gloves too. Don't know if I can bring myself to be that far away from the nature. That's what I'm here for, after all. So now I'm down in it, and I nearly lost my morning tea. How are things back there? Whoa! Whoa! So we need to readjust. Beautiful clear water. Who would drink it? Tell me, how many of you would? Lovely mushrooms. I'll take those home, see if I can identify them. 
Maybe do you know? Spidey senses say no. I don't think you meant to eat those ones with the knobbly bits on top. We'll see later. Maybe I missed out on a tasty delicacy. Better safe than dead. Beautiful creek this I'm following along. It's funny, in retrospect, I really love the minor panics that you get when you realize you're not exactly where you thought. There's a clip back there where I came to the edge of a cliff and looked down on this creek running and had a bit of a panic knowing straight away that I was a few hundred meters off where I'd intended to be. But those ideals never work and that's partly why I had planned to uh, come back upon this creek and then follow it back to the waterfall. It's just, uh, yeah, I don't know, tell me, do I have dumb luck or is that, am I doing it the right way? I don't profess to be an expert on all this kind of stuff, but it's a beautiful day and I'm loving it. Now hopefully, that clearing is the falls. Otherwise, maybe I won't show this segment for fear of looking like an idiot. <laughs> and I may have to reconsider how many more clips I do for the uh, battery budget. <laughs> what have we got? Looking promising. Yes, beautiful. This should be where I left off. And I went up that way. So, yeah, a few hundred meters off. Not too bad. There's the uh, old um, thing to make sure that we're right in the right spot. Is that there? Where is it? There it is. Beautiful. Thanks for walking with me. Thanks for commenting if you did. I'd love to go down the bottom there sometime and see where the falls meet the new stream. Follow that along. I imagine it links up with the creek. That'd be nice. Like, subscribe. Hit the bell, it'll encourage me to do more. Have a good day, thanks. This place sure isn't untouched. That um, depression there is apparently the remnants of a tin mine. Been many a person here before. So far out and you think you're all alone, but no. Spotted gum trail. Doing a reconnaissance for the next walk. Yeah, that's definitely for drive territory.